Hey everybody, Anne here, and this is going to be my view for, oh, the next three and a half days or so. I got here last night, and I'm just going to chill and camp and hopefully cook some cool stuff. For the most part, though, I'm just going to relax because this last week has been crazy, very stressful. The next week is going to be crazy stressful, and I really just think that... Uh, I need to spend some time evaluating my future, Betty's future, where I'm going to go from here because things are just eh, not exactly how I want them. The first thing I wanted to show you was this new addition that I got. It's a pop-up canopy shade tent. You can hang your towels on it too. Sets up very, very easily. I did it all by myself and instead of spending 20, 30, however many dollars on a wall attachment, I just used the tarp that I had, hooked it up with bungees and zip ties works perfect. It keeps the late afternoon sun out so this area stays a lot cooler. There is my camp stove. There's the van. See how it goes over the doors? That works perfectly. Um, it kind of gives me like an extra room. Uh, yeah, I think I need to get a table of some kind to put that up on, but for now, just putting the camp stove on that little piece of wood is fine. Um, I didn't get a tarp for this side. I don't have a tarp for that side. I don't know if I will because really the, the morning sun isn't that hot. Um, and it does give me a little bit of extra privacy right here. And see, it just kind of stakes down. It ties down. Over here, I've got my solar panels out. There's a lake. Somebody left me a boat. <laughs> I wonder if they mind if I go take it for a spin. Yeah, so that's how it looks like on the outside. Not quite as shabby as it used to when I just kind of like folded it and draped it over the doors. Um, but it works, it's functional. And um, yeah, I, I really do like it. And I've still got a good view of the lake. I can go right out there and go fishing. So yeah, it makes this area really, really nice. Very, very nice. And um, I wonder what Betty's doing. Oh, look at that view too. Same view as always, but you know what? This is my little spot, my little retreat that I go to just to relax. So let's see if the girl, there she is. There's my girl. She loves, loves, loves this van. When I pick her up from the sitter, she cannot get back into this van quick enough. She just loves it in here. So that's what that noise was. Oh my gosh. You know what? I've got this paddle thing I want to show you. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, I've been having a whole lot of fun with this thing. Is it wrong that I should derive enjoyment out of killing little tiny critters with this thing that want to bite me and chew me up in the middle of the night? My legs are covered in scars, like brown scars from from when little bugs chew on me, you know? They've got the, fl the biting flies, the mosquitoes as big as your thumb practically. And so, you know what? Every time I fry one of those little critters on this thing, I get a sense of satisfaction. Is, is there something wrong with me? <laughs> Come on, little sucker. Let me, let me fry ya. Let me get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Oh. Yes, I love that sound. Oh, any more? Anybody else want some of this? You want some of this? Oh, you're just to leave. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right. I will hunt you down and I will get you. We all got a little crazy in us. All right. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a baby. I don't know what you call them. A little tiny baby one. I'll look it up. Just on my morning walk with the girl and my coffee. And I found a baby bird. Aww, so cute. The lake is pretty calm today. It's still pretty high, but a lot of times it will it will cross over into this field, making this kind of like a river. But it's a beautiful day today, knock on wood. Maybe, just maybe, I'll catch a fish. 
This isn't the main lake, this is just the smaller lake, so I may venture to the big lake today. Go to the bait shop. Oh, 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 I don't know if you can see in the water. Little bass. I think they're bass. There's a whole bunch of fish down there. Those aren't keepers. Can you see them? I don't know if you can see them or not. It's tiny. It's promising. Anyway, onward. Alright, so a lot's been on my mind lately. Van life, my job, and my beloved Betty. Um, I used to love all three. However, there's one that I have recently started not loving as much as I used to. And that is my job. I cannot do all three of these things. Something's got to give. I still have to work. Um... I guess. But my dog, I don't know. I don't think the sitter is going to work out long term. She's already showing signs of wear. Um, because I guess Betty makes a lot of noise when I leave. <clears throat> and it's hard to get her to stop whining and crying. Which is precisely the reason that I keep her with me all the time. And I can't keep her with me all the time. Because, well, it's getting hot in the van. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, my job, it's not the company, the company's great, the people are great, it's just I've been doing this for 26 years, I'm a nurse, it is a thankless job, you know, you don't get into this job to get thanks, but I'm older now, 54 years old, and quite frankly, some of it is really starting to wear on me, <laughs> it's hard to explain, you know, I love it. I've been doing it for so long, I can't imagine doing anything else, except for maybe working somewhere outdoors, like at a campground or something. Um, but it's kind of the point where I would rather clean toilets in a campground than be a nurse anymore. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do, but something has got to give. Something's got to change. Um, I can't do the job I'm doing do van life, and have Betty. I've either got to move back into an apartment and keep her in the apartment and do my job, which to me isn't an option because I'll be sucked back into the same old hamster wheel life, and I, I just don't want to do that. I don't want to live that close to that many people on a permanent basis. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to just get away from them. Um, and you can't when you're living in an apartment. They're always going to be there. So, um, and the thought of giving Betty away to somebody, I've been seriously considering it. I just don't know if I could do it. I think that that would wear on me after a while worrying about her. Because I know how people are with pipples. Um, people are stupid with people, pipples. They don't really know how to train them. Maybe I didn't know how to train her. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bad pit bull owner too, but all I know is I've never taught her to be mean. I've taught her to be sweet. And she is sweet except for with other dogs. So, I don't think the, the babysitter is going to want to keep doing this. And um, I don't have any other options to keep the van cool while she's in there. And you know what? Even if I do have something going on in there to... to keep her cool, people are still stupid. They're still ignorant. They won't even think that, oh, she's got an air conditioner in there, or she's got this, that, or the other. They're just going to circle the van and um, agitate my dog, thinking that they're doing something heroic when they're actually doing something harmful to my dog. So, And there's one city I work in that will write you a ticket if you leave your dog in the car. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. You don't leave your dogs in the car in this city. So, I don't know complicated. You know, it's complicated life with a pit bull. If it was a smaller dog, one that's not high strung, one that's not so protective of me, that would just sit quietly, it would be different. But, um, I don't know. So, I'm going to start thinking about whether or not, oh God, look at my face, look at my hair. <laughs> I'm such an odd looking human. Anyhow, um, I'm going to start thinking of a career change. I know I'm going to take a huge pay cut. Um, if I could just have a couple of really good weeks and, and get a little nest egg, 
I have no idea what she's barking at, but, um, oh, bicyclers. Um, I'll be right back. Anyway, how's this feel? Um, and that's another thing. I will never be able to get her to stop barking when people come near the van. It's, it's just not going to happen. You know, somebody had suggested a bark collar. I don't know. I think that's a little hum inhumane. I don't know much about them. But, um, something's got to change because I'm limited in so many ways right now. And I don't want to be limited. I mean, that's why I got into van life, so I could be, be free and have the feeling of freedom. And with the job that I have, and with the kind of dog that I have, I am limited. And that's all there is to it. If it weren't for the fact that I had bonded so deeply with this dog, I would have found a home for her a long time ago. Now she's like flesh and blood to me. And, um... So I don't know. I, I, I need to consider a career change. If it were a, a job where uh, maybe delivering food to the elderly, because I love old people, I love to talk with them, um, she would just, she, I mean, it would be just a couple minutes each time that I would have to leave the van. Um, but then there's still the issue of her, when I'm out on my camping excursions, of her barking, you know? Um, and that is never going to change. I have to realize that. So if y'all have some advice for me, please give it to me. I need it. I need it right now. I'm searching. Um, the only thing that is not going to change is me living in a van or some kind of, you know, if I can get an RV eventually, whatever. Um, until I can save up money to buy some land and build a homestead. That is my goal. That is my goal. But that's a year or two away, you know. I'm not going to have that kind of money right away. So I don't know. I'm at a crossroads, guys. And um, any advice is, is much appreciated. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.